Alrighty, so I ended up just drawing a limited entry Idaho archery elk tag, and I've had a couple requests on, you know, what I kind of carry in my pack for said hunt, or, you know, any hunt for that matter, kind of just what I generally carry. So this is kind of like all formed into one. I would kind of take this on several hunts. I mean, there's just some stuff, you know, that, like in the bugle, that would just go on an elk hunt, so. Uh, so I'll start with the top. So this is the... This is the Mystery Ranch Metcalf, their newer one with the guide light frame. Super nice pack, really comfortable. I've never had a problem with anything, any rips, anything like that. Snugs really nice up. It's got the, um, you pull the bag apart from the frame, so you got the load hauler, and that's that comes in handy, really handy for extra gear if you're not hunting or if you're hunting, packing meat. And so that all kind of comes into factor, but so in the top I don't have anything in here right now well, I've got uh, my beanie and some other stuff like that but I'll usually carry snacks food um, a spotter I can carry the spotter up here just quick access you can carry it inside it but I like to keep it kind of right on top just super and I can take this on and off slips off real easy on the front outside right here on the front straps I carry the Bushnell series um, this is the Bushnell tripod. Comes out real easy, really light, and it's just nice for uh, setting up an extra camera because this is going to be a filmed hunt, and it's also good for setting up binos because it's nice to just be able to set with steady binos. You can just cover a lot more country and you can see a lot more when you have steady up, uh, optics. Next, I got these are the the Mountain Smith trekking poles picked them up for I think around like 50 bucks for the set I've never had a problem with them super nice they're like four-wheel drive going up steep stuff kind of helps you get traction a lot better as well as um, setting up shelter my shelter is based off the trekking poles so it's just kind of just I, I always have these with me and so bringing the shelter along it's like I don't have to bring along poles or anything like that so I got um, I got the trekking poles. On this outside pocket right here, I got this little zip pocket. I carry a my gloves, the Cryptek, the light, their lighter weight. Um, this is their lighter weight series. Really nice. I don't, I don't have a problem with like pulling the release or anything because I mean, they're, it gets a little bit chilly in the mornings. But I mean, later in the season, I change to a little bit heavier set glove. And I also carry my headlamp in there and so this is just a a Walmart headlamp just a little bit cheaper but I've never had a problem with it I've never really had an instance where I have to come out in the dark so usually it's just uh, nighttime you know I'm, I wake up early in the morning or you know and I've always got batteries I always replace the batteries on this and I've never had a problem with it it's waterproof too so Walmart <laughs> So now we jump inside the bag. You got the straps that come off the top. And then Mystery Ranch, the Metcalf is a cinch top. So I just kind of tuck the strings in there, comes up real cinched up, real tight, come off real easy. And then right on top, I have my, this is the film, my film equipment. Uh, if I'll have someone else, we'll split the gear up pretty evenly, but this is the film equipment that I carry. I carry the some Lumix. Uh, equipment and I got you know a lav mic, uh, some extra filters, the mic, the microphone, and extra batteries, and as well as a backup charger because I can charge the batteries, you know, because I've only got a couple right now for the camera that I have, so that extra battery I can get like two or three more charges out of a battery, and that's nice, as well as SD cards. And then I go into food. Got a couple dehydrated meals. These are just kind of, these are the basics. All usually, these are usually some of those first things that come out. I just kind of hunt all day. Uh, I'm not really big into base camp. I usually just hunt with camp on my back. And so, you know, these are just, these are towards the top. And then I go into my essentials kit. And this is just kind of a little bit of everything. You know, I got my propane stove. Uh, pot, lighters, hand warmers, poncho, some scent, some 
Tylenol PM, emergency blanket, some, you know, just little stuff like that. And it's nice just to have it in one big compartment. Over here, I've got bow tools, I've got face paint, I've got a sharpener, an extra head, little headlamp for clips onto your hat. And I always carry bowstring, just a little bit of bowstring. Wax, because I've had it to where, you know, you drag your bow, your string against something, it'll rip it up real, I mean, this, I just, I don't know, it's lightweight. I just carry it in there. Over here, I've got the essential, that's the gold. To toilet paper. I don't have enough in there right now for a couple days, but I mean, this is, I know I've always got a little bit in there. I found that when I'm hunting and I'm hiking and I'm hunt, I'm always chasing the elk. The thing that stinks the most on me is my armpits. So I always carry an extra antiperspirant. You know, this is just like a little, I just carry it with my pack because I'll start stinking, just rub a little bit on, and that kind of puts that scent away. I just, that's the only thing really I, I worry about scent. I've got some anti-itch cream, you know, for chafing and stuff like that, you know, I mean, I think everyone's kind of been through that, you know, and through some trial and error, I just, I just pack it in. So that's kind of my essentials kit, it's just this little bag that I just kind of carry around, really light, I carry that off, and it just compresses down, I mean, nothing in there really is going to get hurt. And then I go into my kill kit, this is my, I carry game bags, and just some elastic gloves. I just like, it is kind of, because when everything gets all bloody, it's a mess, you know, so I just carry some elastic gloves. You can put them away, you can throw them in a little bag. So that's nice, got some game bags in here. And so this is just kind of my kill kit. And everything I've got packed up is usually in like a Cordura Sea to Summit uh, compression sack, it compresses down, waterproof. A lot of people don't like it. A lot of people try to do the, how, let everything kind of compress to the bag. But I like the organization. And with all these straps, I can kind of cinch everything down and nothing's going to be rolling around in my pack at all. So I really like this Sea to Summit waterproof. You know, it rains, you know, if something gets wet. I mean, this thing, this thing is waterproof. I mean, obviously it's not going to float, but I mean, it's, it's waterproof. Then I go into, this is kind of my, this is like kind of my sleep system in a way. It's my puffy jacket and my raincoat. So I don't, in this setup for just a, like, two day possibly three it's I'm not gonna bring a sleep system other than the tent just because with the gear that I'll have on the puffy jacket is gonna be enough to keep me warm with the beanie and the gloves and stuff if it does get chilly at night I'm gonna be up at a little bit higher elevation but I mean this is just this works out fine for me so I've got my rain and my puffy jacket in here and down at the very bottom of the pack this is a packed in a seat of summit I think this is a what is this? An eight liter. This is the sleep system. It's just a it's a mountain hardware. You set it up with the trekking poles and it just sets up real nice and easy. So that's kind of my setup right there. So that's everything I got in the bag. Other than that, I've got my water system. And I carry the I use the platypus three liter hoser so it's not the best water system as far as like hydration packs go but this is a really nice it's just super easy to use I mean it just doesn't have the quick connect which I should probably upgrade but this is a I mean it just it just works you know it, it just works and so that's good enough so that's the bag uh, in this little side I got this little side holster right here I'll carry my smartphone my wallet you know anything like that maybe some calls it just works out good. I'll have it right there and it buttons up real tight so I know I'm not gonna lose anything. It's not gonna come unsnapped. It's just, it's there. It's a pretty good button up. Uh, the last thing that I'll carry that I'll either probably have it in my hand being the hunter or have it strapped up to my pack if, you know, something else. But this is just the Rocky Mountain Game Calls. They're, they're just standard bugle. I have never had any problem with this bugle. Works great and you know, it's, it's just an all-around great call. Love their products. So that is my hunt system for two to possibly three days in the backcountry on an archery elk hunt. Would be, on a solo trip, that would be really tough. You're definitely going to have to be lugging some weight, uh, especially on the way out if you were to kill an elk. Rather than that, that's, that's my system. And 
for this fall and hopefully uh, hope you guys like it and be sure to subscribe to our channel Hell's Canyon Productions uh, follow us on Instagram you know to see our latest updates and stuff uh, yeah hope you guys do good this season